start off this little, let's call it a rant, why not, by making a few statements. First of all, like I've said in, in probably every other video about this car, previously I had never touched a rotary. No idea about them, didn't know how they work, or had an understanding, but you know, never had one apart. So. Never driven one, you know, never sat in one. Now, I have been around, you know, engines my whole life, um, you know, both performance and standard, rebuilt quite a few piston engines. So, I got a fair idea of what the car scene is like and also the engine building scene. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of wankers out there, there's no two ways about it. But, my experience with the piston side of things is that by and large people want to help you. Now, you can ring someone up, an engine builder, even a well-noted engine builder. Ring them up, say I've got this, I want to do this, can you help me out? Just with parts, not building, just with parts. And they'll go, yep, no worries, we recommend these, we can get them for you, X amount of dollars. You buy it, where you go. Now, I think, I think I just want to state that these are my opinions based on my experiences over the past, you know, six weeks of before I stripped the engine and now stripped the engine, trying to get some good, solid, reliable information. And also something I just did not expect is just trying to get parts, not, not so much acquire them, but physically trying to get someone to get parts from. Um, so... I mean, having said that, my experience has been very ordinary. I can see why people shy away from these cars and these engines, because there's not a lot of help out there. Not in Australia. No idea what it's like overseas. There's, there's just not a lot of help. Um, you ring up quite reputable companies, they don't want to sell you parts. They don't want to sell you, or they don't even want to give you advice, essentially. They want to build you an engine. I can respect that, you know, companies want to build engines, sure. Not everybody has 10 grand to lay into an engine. I certainly don't. I mean, you know, when it comes to this stuff, these are hobbies. I, you know, I do it because I enjoy it. I've got a family and a mortgage and everything else, just, just like everyone else. I can't just sink lots of money into a car. And I'm prepared to do the work myself. But a lot of the shops just want to, well, again, my experience, they want to either build the engine for you or straight off the bat want to sell you the highest componentry that they can. Now, that's, that's one side of it. They want to sell you the good gear, sure. But it comes down to a bit of horses for courses. I ring them up. Every shop I sort of said the same thing and I, I rang in excess of 25 rotary shops all over Australia. I gave them the same details. I said, I've got, you know, as you all know, Series 4, high compression, um, and I'm supercharging it. I said, I've got a ceiling of about 8,500 RPM, and I'm going to put about 10 to 12 pound of boost in it. And, and that's it. I said, um, if I see 350 horse, I'm happy. And I would say 80% of the rotary shops said straight up, throw your six port in the bin and get a four port. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to like working with what I've got. I've got a six port, you know, okay, it won't be the best engine for the choice, but I've got it. Now, when I tell them that I've got that engine, I don't want to throw it in the bin, they go, okay, well, at the very least, you're going to need to stud it, or you're going to need to dowel it. Now, that's quite expensive exercise. The bolts themselves to dowel them, $450, $500, and... I would do the machining work myself because I have the ability and the, and the tools to do it. But I mean, you're talking $1,000 plus worth of machining there for them to do it. So you've got another $1,500 on top of an engine build. And, I, and even after questioning, is that really necessary for my power level? 80% of them said, yes, straight up. You must do it. If you don't do it, you'll have expansion issues with your housings and you'll break apex seals. And... I just, I can't see it. I can't. Now, there were two shops that I rang who were very helpful. Um, I won't mention them because I don't know if they want me to or anything like that. They, they were very helpful. They talked me through it. 
Now, one of them I said, can you please get me some parts? And they just didn't. <laughs> I said, I need a list of parts with some prices. I, oh, I gave them the list of parts. I said, can I have some prices, please? And they didn't. And, I mean, I don't know if my money is not as good as someone else's, but, I mean, if I was a shop trying to sell componentry, they, they were really good on the phone. They said, yep, no worries, we'll get back to you. And they just didn't. So, I ended up, I rang another workshop, and this particular bloke was incredibly helpful. Very knowledgeable, very helpful, and you can always tell the people that know what they're talking about, especially if you've been in the industry. Very helpful. He steered me on a path that was much more logical for my power level and my, my car. Not drag racing, not drifting, not circuit racing. You know, it's a street car. Um, and he was very helpful with weeding out the bullshit, like, you know, bring it back to reality, something I can afford um, as a very average sort of person, you know, building a reasonable car. What I ended up doing, he's sourcing me a rotor, and I'm hopeful that he'll get it. He said he would, and I trust him, so that's as much as we can do. I ended up going to Atkins Rotary in the States and ordering it online. My whole rebuild kit. I got their master rebuild kit. I, I didn't want to do that. I really didn't. I wanted to buy it in Australia. And I wanted to spend my money in Australia. And I also assumed it would either be cheaper or save on parts because the exchange rate's not particularly good. But it turns out no. So I got an entire rebuild kit, which comes with everything, um, minus Apex seals. Because <laughs> I did actually find a set of brand new Apex seals, which should have been installed in the engine, but weren't. I got an entire master rebuild kit, including brand new rotor bearings and stator bearings, all the oil control rings, everything. The full kit and caboodle landed to my door for $1,700. I, and I, I don't even know if that's cheap, to be honest, because I couldn't get a single shop in Australia to give me a price on parts. And I, that, it blows my mind. So. Anyway, that's where we're at. I've got parts on order from the States. Um, I have a very helpful gentleman tracking down a rotor for me to match my uh, D-Weight Series 4 rotor. I really hope that comes through soon. I have my plates off being machined. Um, that was also another thing, and it turns out it's quite controversial between machining and like grinding and plates, getting them surface ground or getting them uh, diamond lapped. I went with surface ground because in all honesty, that's how they come from Mazda, um, if they're not nitrided. And my local machinist, who I trust, my engine machinist, who I trust, he's going to do them for me, and it'll be a few hundred dollars. It was going to cost me uh, about 700 all up to get it done elsewhere, to get it lapped and, and uh, diamond lapped. I just don't really have that sort of money. Uh, I'm not a tight ass, but by the same token, if I don't have to do it, then I won't do it. So anyway, that's my rant. Leave a comment, because if anyone else in Australia is having this, has the same issues that I do, it's got to change. Like, as I said at the start, I can see why people ditch these engines and put LSs in them. It's got nothing to do with the engines. It's got to do with the bullshit that goes around them. And that I, for one, can't understand it. So Anyway, that's where I'm at. As I said, leave a comment. Tell me I'm an idiot. Maybe I got just the wrong people on the wrong end of the phone. I don't know. I don't think I did, because, as I said, I rang in excess of 25 workshops in Australia and, you know, the big name workshops as well. Um, essentially, everyone that Google told me dealt in rotaries, I rang them. And it was the same answer again and again and again. So, that's where we're at. Parts are on order. Hopefully, they'll be here within the next week or so. Um, and we can get cracking on that again. Uh, I'm going to get some body work done on it in the meantime, but that'll be for a different video. So, right. That's out of my system. Let's turn our attention to this thing and uh, see if we can't get that to make some noise. So, right on.